during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about herbicide carryover for next year. Now, if you are a non-farmer, the reason why we're talking about this a little bit is just so you understand a little bit about how herbicides work in general. And let me first say, with most of the herbicides that we're using on the farm today, they're actually quite safe for humans and for the environment. Many of these products are what we would call natural products. The most popular corn herbicides today are HPPD herbicides. So again, HPPD, and these got discovered because there was a researcher who had a tree and there were no broadleaf weeds around this tree. And he thought, you know, I wonder if there's something in the tree killing these weeds. Well, he discovered that and called the product Callisto, and that was the origin for a lot of these HPPD herbicides. Well, for any of these pesticide products to come out, it takes years of study, tens of millions of dollars worth of research to prove that it's safe and proof how long does this product have to have before it's safe for the next crop and so forth. So they determine what the rotational intervals will be before future crops. So for example, if you apply that HPPD on time and you've got a whole year before the next crop gets planted, well, no problem if you're rotating to corn or rotating to soybeans, for example. But let's say that the year turns out like 2019 and the crop goes in two months late and the herbicide application goes on two months late. Now all of a sudden farmers may have to adjust what they rotate to. Yes, we had delayed planting, we had delayed spraying in 2019, but we also had a lot of rainfall. What we usually are looking for with herbicide breakdown is a moderate amount of rainfall and lots of heat, because the number one thing that's gonna break herbicides down in the soil is bacteria. And bacteria want heat, they want lots of heat, and they want just a normal amount of rainfall. Now, if there's too much rainfall, one of our concerns this year is soils were sitting plumb full of water. Well, if soils are plumb full of water, that means there's no oxygen in there, and that means that many of the bacteria that could break the herbicide down will die. So that could be a concern going into next year. Well, it absolutely could be, Brian. I, I, I don't know how to quantify that exactly for farmers, but I can say this. If you've got a herbicide that has a 10-month rotational restriction to the crop that you want to plant next year, and all of a sudden you got it applied late, the weather went against you, your soils were saturated for a long period of time, I would probably add at least 50% to that, if not double it, just to be on the safe side. So just like we do in situations where we have drought and crop loss, where we've got flooding and very saturated soils, you may want to rotate back to that same crop next year in some situations. So when we talk about residual for herbicides, there are two things we're always discussing. One is how long will the herbicide actually kill weeds and two, how long will it actually hurt the next crop. So in terms of weed killing potential, that runs out much sooner than any potential damage yeah, your crop, to the next crop. Your crop rotation rule restriction to say pig weeds is probably very small because most products, unless they've just been put on within well, the last month, don't have a lot of killing wait, residual stop. for pig weeds. Stop, you just said crop rotational restriction to it. It's all different if you're talking about, are we gonna raise a crop right. or are we trying to control 100% of the weed species out there? For example, if I'm going to take this HPPD and I'm going to rotate to soybeans next year. I'm not trying to kill all the soybeans, but the thing is I don't even want a tiny amount of damage. I can't even lose two bushels on my yield. So that's why we have to have all that extra time to make sure all the soil residual is gone. And all we're trying to say today is if I was a farmer, and I am, uh, I'm going to be much more concerned about residual carryover into this next crop. When you think about the products that were applied in 2019, many of them were applied targeting our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.